WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading week, and we have a pretty mixed market to start things off. NASDAQ leading the way in positive territory, up 75 points, or a full 1%, trading at 74.83. S&P is currently positive by 17 points, or about 6 tenths percent, trading at 27.60. And you have the Dow currently negative by 60 points, being led by Boeing on the downside. Of course, the tragedy that most of you probably heard about with one of their planes going down over the weekend. Uh, Ethiopia Airlines, that having to do with the 737 MAX, they're one of their newest airplanes, uh, second time that's happened within the last year, so Boeing down about 10%, one of the highest prices in the Dow in terms of their stock price, and that, of course, affecting the market. Let's jump over. We'll start it off with that chart of Boeing. Quite a haircut, 11% now down, $46.80. To get over to the news, you have a number of people considering, and whether, whether it be uh, China, stopping what's going on in terms of grounding those airplanes. So you have Boeing shares, and of course, this number just continuing to accelerate, now down about 11%. So the plane is Boeing's best seller, and China's aviation regulator decided to ask the airlines to ground the plane. So they have to figure out what's going on in the market, reacting to the fact that they may have a problem with one of their best-selling newest airplanes. But nonetheless, getting a bid on the Dow, climbing a bit. Look at that low that we made on the open, 25000 254. The Dow now almost 200 points above that level, keeping in mind that Boeing has not gotten a bounce at all. So the other 29 components of that Dow bouncing for sure. Jumping to the other indices, S&P 500 trading at highs, 27.67. You've got the NASDAQ 100 trading higher, 71.32. Apple getting an upgrade from Bank of America. We'll jump to that chart in a moment to wrap it up. Crude oil climbing for $57, currently trading at 56.87. Gold contract, 1293.77, and you've got the euro, U.S. dollar, 112.47. As I had mentioned, Apple getting an upgrade for those Apple fans out there. Quite a start to the trading week, up about 2.2%, or almost $4, with Apple trading at 176.86. Stay tuned. We come back at 10 o'clock with, with Tom, and of course, 11 o'clock, Fast Market by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. Basil Chapman at noon, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Monday.